How is it everyone? We are on fold review video Prehistoric Planet episode 4 Ice Worlds. Spoiler ahead. With the title Ice Worlds, not all in this episode will be in Ice Biome, instead taking in different places and seasons. The first story taking place in somewhere on north, probably what is now North America. The season was spring but snow still covering the ground. There was a huge herd of dog-billed herdersaur. It should be the narrator uh, not just mention the genus of the dinosaur but also the exact name of the dinosaur. The herdersaur are the, uh, the Edmontosaurs. There are two different species of Edmontosaurs. The Edmontosaurus regalis and Edmontosaurus anectens. While in the documentary is the Edmontosaurus anectens, it can be identified that Edmontosaurus regalis had small crest while anectens uh, doesn't have it. And then the Dromaeosaurus designed like the Velociraptor, covered in coat of feathers, but they cannot fly. The Dromaeosaurus hunts the small Edmontosaurus that was stopped by the frozen river, but that was ended by one of baby Edmontosaurus that on the river and eaten by the Dromaeosaurus. And then the story continues on near small river where group of male Ornithomimus are building nests. But here's the story begin to fun. When one of them are really naughty to steal other nests, it's funny when the teeth are caught. Move on summer season, a herd of Oloro Titan, my favorite herosaur, are moving to volcanic zone to raise their offspring. This story is so emotional, I feel how the nature works, where the weakest are going to die and the strongest go to survive. The mosquitoes made the Aurora Titans weak, not just bigger predators, even the small blood sucking insects could collapse the bigger dinosaurs. Dry branches and leaves ignite with a small spark of fire made a forest turn into hell, but there is a dinosaur use it as advantage to get their prey. The true dentits, dinosaur weak, big brain that really good at hunting at bad situation. A small herd of young Antarctopelta wandering in the forest to find a new home for upcoming winter, but it really sad when the brothers not sharing the shelter due to lack of space, and forced to find another place. Winter finally comes. A herd of Pachyrhinosaurus are followed by Nanuxaurus. The battle between these two dinosaurs and interrupted by the calamity. The battle very intense but also satisfying. The end of the battle, one of the Pachyrhinosaurus had to lose and become a feast for Nanuxaurus. The whole story is so incredibly great. This is my favorite episode yet because I found my favorite dinosaurs in this episode, the Oloro Titan and Pachyrhinosaurus. I love how the story in different places and seasons. The funny part is the Ornithomimus stealing from under to build a nest. And the greatest uh, scene is the battle between Nanuxaurus and Pachyrhinosaurus. The cruel life of Oloro Titan also feels so natural. I love this episode. The accuracy of the design and the natural world are so great. Right, so let me know what you thought about this episode. This is so great. Um, if you haven't watched this, I recommend you to watch this immediately because um, this story on episode 4 is really different from the previous um episode uh, i say this episode is really incredible amazing so uh, have you have you 
get a chance to watch this episode all right so if you already watched this let me know what you think what you thought uh what's your favorite scene from this episode and i will see you another time auf wiedersehen